Good morning, praying parents. May the Lord bless you. It's a new week again. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for today. I want us to just thank the Lord for this new week. It's another week of grace, of mercy, of abundance, of God's glory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says that God will give us the oil of joy. Glory be to God. May your children have the oil of joy. In Jesus' mighty name, praise God. Hallelujah. I want us to thank God for this new week in, you, in the life of your family, in the lives of your children, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before your children in the name of Jesus Praise and righteousness will spring forth before your children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. I pray for your children this day. There shall be no violence in your home. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it will not be heard in your land. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, there shall be no wasting, no destruction within your borders. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, says in Isaiah chapter 60 verse 18 that you shall call your walls salvation and your gates praise oh yes the walls of your family shall be called salvation and your gates praise in the name of Jesus the walls in your children's lives shall be called salvation and their gates praise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hallelujah your children shall in Inherit the land forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Halema Rama Kaseke Talababa. And the Lord will be glorified in your children's lives in Jesus' mighty name. A little one of your children shall become a thousand praying parents. A little one of your children shall become a thousand. And a small one, a strong nation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I really feel very strongly that this is a week of testimonies. I want you to claim it. Claim your week of testimonies. Let us begin to thank the Lord for his goodness, his mercy. He is gracious. Have you been waiting for your child to, bo to get born again? Have you been waiting for something new to happen in their lives? This is your week of testimony. I want us to thank the Lord and say, Father, I thank you that this week I testify testify to the glory of your name. In the life of my family, I testify. In the life of my children, I testify. For you are a refuge and a strength. You are a very present help in trouble. I testify how you brought us out of trouble, how you became a very present help in the midst of our families. Praise the Lord. I want to let you know, praying parents, that Jesus has broken the power of the curse of sin. The the curse of sin, the power of it is broken in your family, over your children's lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Jesus has broken the power of death and disease. Therefore, you testify. Somebody is going to testify about how God healed them and delivered them from very bad news of their health. Somebody has received bad news regarding their health, but the Lord is saying that that news is not from me. It's not from me, it's from the enemy. And today, receive your testimony right now that God has delivered you and healed you and healed your children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When Jesus died on the cross, he broke the curse. He broke its power. He broke the curse of sin, death, and disease over our lives. You are healed by the stripes of Jesus. Any one of your children that are not feeling well, they're healed by the stripes of Jesus. If they're mentally challenged, they healed by the stripes of Jesus. Father, we give you glory for testimonies of God. We claim our testimonies of God. We stand on your word of God. Yes, we receive your blessings of God. 
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The Lord is telling me this morning that your home has been cleansed. The blood of Jesus has cleansed your home. Your home is disease free. Your home is death free. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I decree and I declare that your home is sin free in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. The curse of sin was broken. When Jesus died on the cross at Calvary, the curse of death was broken. The curse of disease was broken. When Jesus died on the cross of Calvary, and we thank him for his sacrifice. I want you to thank him right now and say, Father, I thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you, Jesus, for your sacrifice. I testify. I claim my testimony of freedom from sin, freedom from death, freedom from disease. Claim your testimony right now. Say, Father, I claim my testimony of freedom from sin, freedom from the curse of sin, freedom from the curse of death, freedom from the curse of disease. I claim it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Satan has no, no, no hold on you, no hold on your children, no hold on your family. Tell him, tell him this morning, Satan, you have no hold on me. You have no hold on my children. You have no hold on my body. You have no hold on my life. You have no hold on my family. You have no hold on my marriage. You have no hold on our destiny. You have no hold in this home. Satan, your curse is broken. The curse is broken when Jesus died on the cross at Calvary. Therefore, I thank Jesus. I thank Jesus for his sacrifice. Oh yes, Lord, your curse is broken in the name of Jesus. Tell him, Satan, I reject you this day. I reject you in the name of Jesus. I reject you. Your curse is broken over my family in the name of Jesus. Jesus, I thank you. Begin to thank Jesus right now. You are free. Your home is free. I plead the blood of Jesus over your home right now. Let every room in your home be sanctified. Every room be sanctified. Every room be holy. We break every curse in Jesus' name. The goodness and mercy of God surrounds you in your home, surrounds your children, surrounds your family. Every moment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are of good courage. Your children are of good courage and God strengthens your heart because you hope in him. You hope in him. Your children hope in him and their hearts are strengthened. This is your week of testimony. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. The kingdom of God is advancing in your children's lives. It's advancing in your life. It's advancing in your home. It's advancing in your husband and your wife. Nothing will get you off track. Nothing will get your children off track. You stand firm. You stand firm in the, on the word of God, no matter what, because you walk by faith and not by sight. In the name of Jesus, your children are free from every shackle of the enemy. Every curse of the enemy is broken. In the name of Jesus Christ, God has transformed your life, has transformed your family, has transformed your children, and they are changing from glory to glory. Your family are changing from glory to glory to glory to glory to glory until the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Tell the devil, Satan, you have no hold on me and my family. You have no hold on me. You have no hold on me. You have no hold on me. The curse of sin is broken. The curse of death is broken. The curse of disease is broken. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Therefore you have testimonies. Therefore you have breakthroughs. You have broken through. In the name of Jesus. Your children have broken through. In the name of Jesus. This week I bind the hand of the enemy. I bind the hand of accusation. God is telling me. There's somebody out there. The enemy is planning to accuse you. Either in your office or in your home. Today we break that yoke now. In the name of Jesus. No 
nobody will come accusing you. The Bible says that the devil is the accuser of the brethren. Anywhere that that accusation is coming from, we bind it now. We bind it now in the name of Jesus. According to Matthew 18, 18, the Bible says whatsoever we bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatsoever we lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. We bind every evil accusation, every accusation of the enemy, every hand of the enemy that is pointing against you, your children, your family today, we command it right now to wither in the name of Jesus. We command it to wither in the name of Jesus. We command it to wither in the name of Jesus. I decree over you right now that you and your children, your family, you will see victory after victory. Victory after victory this week and every week of your lives. Because yes, the Lord is for you. The Lord is for you. And nothing is impossible with God. Hallelujah. The Bible says for with God, nothing shall be impossible. I decree victory over you. Victory over your children. Victory in their education. Victory in their university. Victory in their jobs. Victory in your family. Victory in your marriage. Victory in every situation in your life. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Christ. Jesus said in Mark 10, 27, he said, but Jesus looked at them and said, with men, it is impossible, but not with God. For with God, all things are possible. All things are possible. What are you hoping for? All things are possible. What are you waiting on God for? All things are possible. Yes, Mazakalabakaseki. Yes, Lord. What are you standing on? What have you asked God? All things are possible. Thank Him for the testimony ahead of time. Thank Him, Makalemakaseki Talababa. The Lord showed me a vision, a long queue of testimonies. People were queuing to give testimonies and they have been giving all those testimonies for weeks now. Yes, your testimony will not pass you by. Your testimony will not pass you by. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray today, may the God of hope fill you and your children with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, according to Romans 15, 13, in Jesus' mighty name, the God of hope will fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him. Just put your trust in him. Don't look at man. Don't look to the right. Don't look to the left. Just look up and you will see the glory of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Isaiah 40, 31, but they that wait upon the Lord, they that wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. Oh, I pray that your family, your children, you as a parent will renew your strength. No matter what is trying to wear you down, renew your strength. Wait on the Lord. Renew your strength. I pray right now, let your strength be renewed right now in the name of Jesus. Receive the strength of God. Receive the strength of God. Receive the strength of God right now. In the name of Jesus, that weary parent, that weary parent, that parent that has been crying, you are tired of that situation, is wearing you down. Receive your strength this morning. Receive your strength today. Receive the strength of the Lord. They that wait upon the Lord, they will renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. I decree over you today, oh praying parents, that you will mount up. You shall mount up with wings as eagles. You will run and not be weary. And you will walk and you will not faint. You will run and not be weary. And you will walk and you will not faint. You will run and not be weary. And you will walk and you will not faint. Your children will walk. They will not faint. You will run. You will not be weary. Your children will run. They will not be weary. In your family, you will run and you will not be weary. You will walk and you will not faint. In the name of Jesus, I'm telling you the testimony is coming. The testimony is coming. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Don't look at the circumstances. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 from verses 16 to 18, it says, therefore, we do not lose heart. We do not lose heart. You do not lose heart, praying parents. Therefore, we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we're wasting it, we're yet inwardly we're being renewed day by day. You are being renewed day by day. Inwardly, we're being renewed day by day. 
today. Oh, yes. Receive the strength of the Lord right now. The Lord is renewing somebody's strength out there. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 4, 16 to 18, for our light and momentary troubles. This is a light trouble. It is momentary because it's going to go away. This trouble that you're facing right now is going to go away. It is destined for fading away. It's going to go. It's going to die. This trouble is going to die. I cast that trouble by the roots and I uproot it now in the name of Jesus. That trouble I command you to seize in the name of Jesus. I command trouble to seize in your lives in the name of Jesus. Any trouble in your family, trouble in your children, trouble in your life, trouble at work, trouble in your children's school, trouble in the education, trouble in the university, trouble in the work. Today, in the name of Jesus, I command that trouble to cease. We bind trouble. In the name of Jesus, we bind trouble. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, so we fix our eyes, not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary. What you are seeing right now is temporary. That trouble is temporary. But the Bible says, what is unseen is is eternal. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So you go from victory to victory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When I spoke uh, some week past, I said God is restoring relationships. Relationships are being restored as we speak right now. So you're going to get calls from people who have despised you. You're going to get calls from people who have talked about you. Yes. Yes, Lord. Somebody who left you is coming back. Yes, Lord. There's healing and restoration taking place right now. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we give you all the praise and all the glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. A child is being restored right now. Yes, Lord. A child is being restored to the parent. Yes, Lord. Remember that scripture in Mark chapter 10, 27. But Jesus looked at them as and said, With men it is impossible, but not with God, for with God all things are possible. God is telling me to tell somebody out there, the situation looks impossible. That restoration looks impossible. But Jesus is telling me to tell you, for with God, all things are possible. All things are possible. And God is saying, I will make your impossibility possible. In Jesus' mighty name, there's somebody out there. You have been owed some money. God is talking to me right now. You have been owed some money. And the Lord is saying, I'm restoring back to you. All your debtors are coming back. They're coming back now. They're coming back. Just begin to thank God for, for the testimony. All those that have owed you that money, whichever way, I don't know what it is, but the Lord is speaking right now. We command a release, a release, a release, a release, a release. Be released right now. In the name of Jesus. We claim back all that has been owed to you. All the years that the Kanka woman has stolen. It will be repaid. It will be repaid. May all those debts that you are owed be repaid back to you right now in the name of Jesus. Be repaid right now. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The Lord is changing us from glory to glory. Your children are changing from glory to glory. That child that had no interest in education. That child that had no interest in education. I see the hand of the Lord waking that child up. Waking that child up. And now they're so ready and keen and eager. They're keen and eager. Why? Because the God of restoration is restoring that which was broken. Praise the Lord. The Lord says, I should tell somebody, no matter what happens, I am in control and I am faithful and I will be faithful to you. I will be faithful to you. But God says, I should say to you, you'll be faithful to serve and love me. You'll be faithful to serve and love me and thank me and thank me. Thank me. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. God is removing fear, fear. 
That's a child that is gripped with fear. They don't want to go out. They, they, they're, they're scared. You know, there's, there's something that the media has done that they're so scared. That child is scared. Uh, you, you want to force them out. You want them to socialize. They're, they're just cooked up in the bedroom. The Lord says, I'm changing that even right now. Let that change. I decree a change in that area. That child that is just stuck in the room, sitting down there, not socializing, not talking, not wanting to do anything. Today, I break that yoke in the name of Jesus. Haraba Sata, Satan, lose them and let them go. Let that child go right now they don't belong to you yes they've been bought with a price i plead the blood of jesus over that child i plead the blood of jesus over that child if that child is yours go into the room knock gently go in there and just sit down please don't say anything don't say anything god is giving me instructions right now go into the bedroom sit down and don't say a word and that child will start talking when they look at you you can just say hello and just, just sit there and you'll see a change. Something has broken in the realm of the spirit. I plead the blood of Jesus in that bedroom. I plead the blood of Jesus into that child's space right now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, the, the enemy that had a grip on them, that grip is broken. It is broken right now. I pray over that child. Lose them and let them go. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Your son is free. Your daughter is free. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, those mental health challenges that want to come back to your son, God says no. God says no. Go and tell the devil that God said no. Not this child again. No, 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 no. Not this child again. I plead the blood of Jesus over your son, over your daughter. I plead the blood of Jesus over your children. I plead the blood of Jesus over your children. If God be for your children, According to Romans 8.31, who can be against them? Nobody can be against them. Satan, you cannot be against them. These children are free. We testify over them. You are going to testify over your son, over your daughter. You are going to testify in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says no evil will come near you. For the angels of God are protecting you and your and your children. Haraba saka talababa. Therefore you testify. Therefore you rejoice. In the name of Jesus. Halaba rema kai kaliba kasa katalababa. The Lord said I should tell somebody. The Egyptians that you saw before, you will not see them again. No, no, no. They've gone. They have gone. God has drowned those Egyptians in the Red Sea. Herod's head is broken. Nebuchadnezzar is bowing down, bowing down, bowing down to the God of Daniel. Your enemies will bow down to your God. Your enemies in your office, your enemies, the enemies of your marriage, the enemies of your children's destiny, the enemies of your home, they will bow down to your God. For God is sovereign. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, that child you've been waiting on. You've been waiting for that miracle. Your testimony is already here. For with God, all things are possible. For with God, all things are possible. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus, your children are serving the Lord. They are bowing down to Jesus. They are work, working and walking in righteousness. In the mighty name of Jesus, they are strong and they are courageous. No weapon formed against your children or your family will prosper for the plans of God towards you and your family are of good and not of evil. They are not of evil to bring you to an expected end. Hallelujah, Jesus. I want you to know today that the power of the, the curse of sin, the power of the curse of sin, the power of the curse of death, the power of the curse of division, the power of the curse of strife, the power of the curse of lack and poverty, the power of the curse of death and disease over you, over your family, over your children, over your lives huh, has been broken. It has been broken. It has been broken. It has been broken. And thank him for his sacrifice right now. Thank Jesus for the sacrifice that he made on the cross of Calvary. I see new life. New life, new beginnings. I see new beginnings for you. New beginnings for you parents. The Lord said I should tell somebody you will not be broke. You will not be broke. You will be able to put food on the table for your children. You will be able to put food on the table for your children. Somebody wants to move away from an old job. The Lord says I should tell you move away from that job. Move away from that job and begin to look into the new one. 
because I've opened a new door for you. Don't even hesitate. Just fill in the form. Don't make it perfect either because the God of perfection is already gone ahead of you. The Lord says favor will get the new job for you. My favor will get the new job for you. Receive your testimony in the name of Jesus. Do the best with your CV, but you know how we are. We will look at the CV and we'll think, oh, it's not perfect. It's not this. It's not that. And you've done your best. Do your best. Do your best, yes. And let God, look, the Lord says, I will perfect that which concerns you. Let God finish the rest. The job is already out there for you. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. If that is you, receive that job. Receive that job. There's a new business coming. God says your old business is dying and I can see and you are crying out to me, somebody out there. You're a business person. He says your old business is dying and you are crying out to me. He says, but I'm bringing new life. He said, prophesy to the dry bones. Prophesy to the dry bones. Halabarabakaseke. Prophesy the breath of God. Prophesy the wind of God. Prophesy the word of God. Prophesy the life of God. And that business will come alive. God says, I didn't kill the business. I'm not killing your business. No, 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 no. The enemy wants to steal from you. So we cover your business with the blood of Jesus. That business is yours. Don't leave the business and start looking for another job. The Lord says, speak my life, speak the life, speak the Zoe life of God into that business and you will see it turn around because God is already yeah, in heaven. That business is prospering. In heaven, your business is prospering. You will not labor in vain. You will not labor in vain in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, there's something new that God is doing with businesses out there. There's new ideas coming to your children. A lot of them, like I've said in the past, they're going to be business people. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I pray a blessing. A birthing of new ideas right now in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Your children will not labor in vain. You will not labor in vain. Your family will not labor in vain. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God will direct your plans as you are, God will direct your steps as you are making plans right now and trust Him. Trust Him. Trust Him. Trust Him. All the plans that He has for you and your children are good. And no weapon formed against you will prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, God has gone before you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Praise the Lord. And he will not leave your children. I plead the blood of Jesus over your children's week, over your week. I plead the blood of Jesus against any plans of the enemy, any counterattacks of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your hands are blessed. Your children are blessed. Your home is blessed. Yes, Lord. There's good news. You've got testimony upon testimony. You're going from victory to victory, from glory to glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name. This is a week of rejoicing for you. In Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus over you and your family. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praying parents, the song that God has given me for you this morning is titled Fill Me by Veronica Nelson. Fill Me by Veronica Nelson. Praise the Lord. my prayer for your children.
if you let the wind of your glory flow over our children's souls and our families. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord, praying parents. May the Lord continue to bless you and keep you and continue to cause his face to shine upon you, your children, your entire family. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a lovely, lovely day and God richly bless your week. I'll see you online tonight by the grace of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning. It's Pastor Lade. God bless you.